Hello and welcome to this very quick video. This is about how to change the maps that you get inside of iNav Configurator. Now this may change with 3.0 and hopefully it will get easier in the future. But if you go into Mission Control, uh, normally the map that you see, you can actually select it up here which one you want, is the open street map. So if I just come back into Mission Control, that is normally what you see. Now that is fine in terms of figuring out where roads are, but in terms of if you're creating a mission where trees and things are, that's really tricky. However, if you go and you make it something like Bing Maps, and we go back into it, then it gets a lot easier to see where the trees are so that you don't select um, a mission that potentially has a problem. Because actually in this aerial view, we can also see these lines here, which I'm pretty sure are power lines. So how do you make this happen? Well, unfortunately, it's not as easy as it is in some other applications. It's not just as simple as doing that because a couple of things can tend to happen. First of all, you need to make sure that you're running the standalone version of the application that you've downloaded from the iNav website. If you try and use the Chrome version, it doesn't like it. Uh, the other cool thing that you have to kind of do is all listed on this page. I'll put a link down below. So this is all the stuff about iNav Configurator, how you set it up and do everything. But this whole piece here is on setting up the different map providers. Now I hope in future that iNav make this a lot easier and we start to have a lot more options for maps in here. But to actually get the Bing stuff to work, we have to have a Bing Maps account by going to this address. So if I click on there, this is the Bing Maps Development Center and you can log in using your standard Microsoft login. So if you already have Windows, uh, you have an email and uh, a password that you sign into, that is probably already set up with all the Microsoft systems so you can sign in here. Once you've done that, and then what you need to do is go into my account, my keys, and I've already got one listed in my keys because I've done this before. This is the key I'm actually using. I will not show you the key. Uh, but then what you do is you say, so click here to create a new key, enter the application name, I put INF Configurator, left that blank. I did basic type and just put in a Windows application and said create. And then when I did all that, this stuff appeared by clicking on show key. There's a very long hexadecimal stream of number, if I can say it, numbers and letters and dashes and all kinds of goodness. And then when you do that, you can either copy it off here or click copy key. You have to go into here and uh, what you do is you paste the API key into here. And then once you've done that, you have the option to have Bing Maps and you have this aerial view. Uh, hopefully that's a little bit easier for those of you that like to fly in rural locations. Unfortunately, we can't see the height of these trees, but if you're doing a relatively low level uh, mission with uh, mission control, I, and again, I put links to my own mission control stuff in iNav and how you set all that up. You can kind of see here that this is an area that you probably want to stay away from, or if you're going to be flying over these trees, you probably want to add an extra little bit of height. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully it'll get easier in the future. That's the trick. You do have to give yourself a little account on the Bing map stuff and then create a new key. Use that key in iNav and you'll be able to select bit the view like this and see where everything is. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.